What's up guys? It's Sienna. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, today I'm going to do a part two of my, um, what did I say it was? I think it was like walk in the standing or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to title it, but it's basically going to be a part two. So, um, I don't really remember what I talked about in the first one. So I might, I might talk about some of the same stuff. I'll try not to, <laughs> but I mean, everything kind of goes hand in hand, so we'll kind of see how it goes, I guess. Um, I did have, I, I had a, I had a notepad with everything that I was going to talk about on it, but, um, I don't know where it is. I don't know where to find it, I just. One second. I'm back. Back like I never left. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Um I don't think I talked about friends like in the last one. So um let's see. So before before my little incident, like I'm not gonna say friends. I mean I uh, I guess I knew a lot of people like I didn't really know I mean I didn't know a lot of people but it was a lot of people for me because I don't really talk to a lot of people so it was a lot of people for me but um yeah I know a lot of people a lot of people wanted me to come and chill with them you know we would do this do that and um afterwards like when I was in the hospital only like my select group of people like came to see me and stuff and then like there would be people that'd be like oh i would come up there but this this i got this excuse more than once actually and it's really funny because it doesn't make any sense to me but hey you know to each his own you know what i'm saying so anyway a lot of people were like oh well i would come to the hospital but um i have a warrant so I don't want to come up there because I guess they would go to jail, I guess. I I, I don't know how that made sense to them, but I, oh wait, well, okay. So the day that it happened, there was a bunch of police at the hospital or whatever, but I mean, <laughs> that was one day. After that, the police weren't there. And then if they do have police, it's like one policeman and he's not worried about you. Like, he's not up there like, oh, what's your name? Who are you? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that serious. So, um, yeah. I got that a lot. And then on top of that, it's like, they're not going to be searching the cameras like, oh, oh, was that such and such right there going to Sienna's room? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we're going to watch that room. And whenever they come back, we're going to get you and go to jail. Like, no, it's not that serious. So, that was pretty funny. And then, I mean, like, people... People would like message me like every so often and be like, hey, how are you doing, blah, 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 are you okay? And then like that was probably like a month or two after and then after that it's done. And like the, we're on nine months since I've been paralyzed. So um, yeah, true colors, true colors. So when people say that they're your friend, uh, sometimes it's not true it's not it's not but I already I already knew this so, I mean it wasn't like I wasn't really hurt about anything cuz it is what it is you know what I'm saying it is what it is people gonna do what they want to do they ain't got nothing to do with me that's that's my favorite thing to say that has nothing to do with me okay thank you so yeah people just they fall off and i mean i mean is it like even if i wasn't paralyzed i feel like it would, it would be the same thing like i mean i'm not doing the same thing that i do every day like before i was partying you know what i'm saying like going out every night drinking smoking like doing like doing the whole like everything so i mean i'm not i'm not doing that all the time no more so of course people gonna change and be like oh you're not doing what i'm doing so you're not benefiting me like that's really what it is i'm not benefiting nobody no more so yeah <laughs> so that's that but um let's see now my family um like i'm 
I am like I'm very loved <laughs> I don't know if you can tell or not but anyway <laughs> I'm like I'm very loved like everybody loves me so um I don't know it, it's kind of like okay whenever it happened like everybody was at the hospital and they were like oh I'm praying for you I'm doing this and doing that you know what I'm saying and everybody was like concerned and now it's kind of like um I mean it's the same but it's it's not like I think last probably like two months ago my cousin had a retirement party so we went to the retirement party and you know it's all, all my family's there and I come in and I, like I was skeptical about going because I was like oh my gosh you're gonna be all over me like oh are you okay are you, you know like ask me all these questions but surprisingly um every everybody didn't talk to me like I I don't know what it was it was only like a couple of people that talked to me and I was like really I was hurt I was like oh my, oh my goodness like what like what 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 do you mean like you know like but then i was just like i mean it's it's not that serious i mean it is what it is it's it's the same thing like you know what i'm saying like people always like to put on a show that's what i think like they like to put on a show like oh yeah um they want to be there when it's hyped and then when when, it, when, the, when the dust settles it's like okay it's okay it's fine and I'm, I'm okay you know what i'm saying i'm not i'm not out here hurting or nothing so i mean it's not it's not that big of a deal but i was just kind of like shocked like oh my goodness and then like it's crazy because family and friends like they always they're always asking people like asking my mom or asking friends that i talk to or asking my sisters or something you know they're always asking like hey how's siana doing how's siana doing and to me it's like if you really wanted to know, you would ask me. I mean, w what better way to get the information than from the horse? Like, I'm the horse. That's me. So, I mean, I don't know. That's how I feel about it. So, I mean, hey. Teach his own. <laughs> you know, like, for real. Like, I mean, I feel like... But you know, people gonna do what they wanna do, and I can't, I can't be mad at nobody. Like I'm not mad at nobody, and then that, that's that's my thing. Like me, I, I don't like to hold grudges. I don't like to be mad about stuff because I feel like it just brings negative energy and negative vibes my way. When I'm always positive, so I'm gonna stay positive and I'm gonna keep it positive and shoot <laughs> like that's i'm a positive person positive patty patty positive me okay so yeah uh let's see what else what else what else what else oh okay i think i touched a little bit on this in the last one with like with talking with um taking the percocets because um when i was on percocets i was having sleep paralysis so um when when I got out of rehab I was still on Percocets and then I think I went to I had to get a primary doctor so I went to my primary doctor and I was telling him like hey you know I'm on Percocets I take it I, w I think I was taking 7.5s and I was taking them like every four hours so well no because by the time I got out of rehab I was trying to come, come off of them a little bit so I was probably taking them I was probably taking two to four a day. I, w I wasn't taking a whole bunch, but when he was calculating it, he was like, you're taking like, uh, I think he said like two grams of Tylenol a day. And he was like, you're going to kill your liver. And I was like, what? Okay, well, what? Like, I'm, I'm having sleep paralysis anyway. I don't even want to be on that. So um, we went ahead and we got off. Percocets and we went to um what was oh the fentanyl patch so it's like a little patch that you put on you keep it on for three days and they say it's like equivalent to like um I don't know it's a certain amount of morphine so I mean instead of taking a pill and then it dying down for a couple of hours and then you have to take it back and then you have to wait a little bit for the pain to go away 
it would just be like three days of no pain so I was having sleep paralysis and on top of that like I wasn't really sleeping because um when you're paralyzed like you can't like you know when you're sitting down and you're like oh you know my, my butt's kind of hurting you know let me let me move a little bit or something you know like when you're paralyzed you don't really feel it. well I I can feel that a little bit to a certain extent well no I, I can feel it but if I'm asleep I can't feel it so uh, we have to rotate every uh two hours but in, in my case i was just like i'll rotate every three hours because i like to sleep like I, I like sleeping is a necessity i love it and uh it was so bad like for the longest time like i've always slept on my stomach like i, I can't sleep on my back sleeping on my sides is like aggravating like i don't like it so being paralyzed i had to sleep on my sides and oh it was the worst so i'm sleeping on my side and then every three hours i have to wake up rotate now when i was in rehab in, in the hospital they would come in and they would do it for me so i would just you know rotate myself rotate myself when i got home initially my mom was coming in well no she wasn't because she was working so i didn't want her to have to wake up every three hours to um to come and rotate me so i think i was doing it myself but some <laughs> well also because i was taking medicine in the middle of the night too so i would wake up take my medicine and then rotate but then sometimes i'd be like you know what i don't even want to do it <laughs> i don't even want to do it and the point is because i'll get a pressure sore so like it'll be it's, it's called a pressure sore or a bed sore and it's basically like this this gash in your skin and it's just it's no bueno that's 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 like need to know like it's not good so my whole thing was always i don't want a pressure sore because you can go back in the hospital and have to be hospitalized for a certain amount of time until the thing closes so yeah sleeping was not good for a long time because i was waking up all the times but then i was like you know what i want to sleep on my stomach so I started sleeping on my stomach and at first it was hard because, you know, I'm having to, I still wasn't having to wake up all the time, but at the same time I was having to, um, I was having to wake up to turn my neck. So everything, like everything isn't strong, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause for the most part I can feel from here. Up. like everything underneath my chest I can't like I can feel it but it's, it's it's not the same so when I'm when I'm turning my neck and okay my whole body is down so it's all my weight is down and then I'm having to turn my neck here turn my neck there but it's a hard surface I mean it's not a hard it's a mattress right here so I'm like this and then I need to go here so I would have to physically wake up push myself up and then go here or there so I mean I was waking up probably probably every three or four hours but i'm not i'm not really waking up like it's just something in my body that's like okay next next feeling a little uh let's go ahead and go to this side whereas normally with you if you're laying on your stomach you can just you know do it in the middle of your sleep and not even think about it but me i had to actually think about it and be like okay next hurting let's go now i think i started sleeping on my stomach in like probably the end of november somewhere around there so um now pretty much i don't i don't even i i don't wake up in the middle of the night anymore which is perfect like it's so amazing like i don't i don't have to it's um it's just it's natural now like it's like everything is starting to kind of get back to normal which is amazing i'm so excited because like for a long time everything was so uncomfortable like um learning to transition like that was like the hardest like the hardest thing for me is using my arms because i have to use my arms for everything like i'm tall i'm like 
5'8", 5'9". So my body is long legs, long arms, long torso, like I'm long. So I've always relied on my legs to pretty much do everything for me. So now it's like I have to rely on my arms and as you can see, I'm small, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like upper body strength was a no for me, like, no, I didn't have no upper body strength. So I had to literally build my arms up, like transferring was like, uh, like a struggle, like, <laughs> like having to pull up my, like this body in it, this dead weight, like it was, it was a struggle at first, but now I'm pretty much my occupational therapist she is amazing and she makes me um she makes me do like a lot of a lot of arm stuff a lot of arm stuff so that i can push myself longer distances and i can do transfers so i mean my transfers when i first started were horrible one because my scapula was broke and i had restrictions on it i couldn't really i couldn't put more than 15 pounds on it or something like that so i'm having to basically rely on this right arm to hold up everything and then it was just oh it was so aggravating so i mean once i finally could use this arm i mean i was working like okay we need to go ahead and get this one up to this one and now this one is stronger than this one really so i mean i don't know and then look I'm, I, I still don't even got muscles like that like that hmm. that's bigger than what it was the other day <laughs> no oh uh, that's funny but anyway yeah i still don't got muscles like that like and i don't know like my arms are a lot stronger now though because I had to rely on my arms to do everything like now like my arms pretty much do everything now my ab muscles like my core all up in here they do a lot too because i can feel these more than like my my leg muscles like i can feel my leg muscles a little bit but my ab muscles i can feel those a lot um when i was in rehab my my occupational therapist she worked on those a lot too just because i couldn't really work on this so we worked a lot on this so i mean I don't know I just um I've had like good and bad experiences with like being in a wheelchair you know what I'm saying like like when I first got in a wheelchair I was like oh my gosh I'm not gonna be able to do anything like what can I do like my whole life is over but you know now I don't really feel like that anymore and and also I go to these spinal cord injury groups and it's basically like um we sit and like different people come and they talk about different things and it's 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 people from like older to I'm I think I'm always the youngest though. I'm always the youngest and I'm always the only girl, which is so aggravating. But I'm I'm always the only girl in everything. Like all my friends are dudes, like I don't probably have like four friends that are girls. I don't know, but <laughs> I don't have a lot of girlfriends like so I'm, I'm used to being around all dudes anyway and I don't know it's just amazing to be able to be surrounded by all these different people that have different injuries like because a spinal cord injury you you, you it, it ranges from like so many things like it, it, it could be anything so I mean it was it's just amazing to see like them like their stories, like what they went through, how they accomplished what they accomplished now, what they do for a living. Like, I mean, to be, you know, wheelchair, you can do whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people like to say like, oh, you're in a wheelchair, you're disabled. I mean, you're, I, this lady came and she said that you're not disabled, you're I think it was enabled or something like that. I don't, I don't know don't quote me but basically she was just saying that by people saying that you're disabled it makes you feel like you know you can't do everything that everybody else can do when in reality you can all you have to do is put your mind to it you just have to figure out a different way to do it than somebody that's able-bodied and that can actually walk and stand and run and do this stuff but we can do everything that y'all can do i mean it's it's a little harder so it's a little more difficult but 
if you want to do something you can put your mind to it and you can get it done and there's so many different technologies nowadays that can help um accommodate what we need so i don't know that's pretty cool but omg i do okay i have started uh like wiggling my toes so that's really exciting and uh, they, I think that's like the first step to like kind of being able to walk again. So I'm super excited. Um, I think my family's like more excited than I am. Like I'm excited but I'm kind of like uh, I don't want to be too excited if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. I just... I just trying to see my hopes up. I mean, like, in my heart, I know and feel that I'll walk again. But at the same time, it's like, if I don't, I don't want to be, like, sad. In which I don't think I'll be sad. But at the same time, like, I don't really want to get my hopes up like that. But I'm excited. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll probably um, get that on video for you guys so you can see that. Because it's pretty exciting it's pretty exciting it's really just my um my right my right foot and sometimes i can move all four like not the big toe the big toe doesn't really move that much sometimes it moves sometimes it doesn't but sometimes i can do all four sometimes i can just do like three or two like and then the more i do it the less the less like they 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 keep going like it'll it'll get down to just one doing it but that's exciting i'm excited um also i did see you guys requests so i am going to be getting those out i haven't been uploading the past couple of days my grandma was in the hospital and i was sick so sorry i know i said april we're gonna be uploading every day my bad <laughs> but for the most part it should be every day now because my grandma's here she lives with me again <laughs> i love my grandma um and then what else was i gonna say um oh um probably tomorrow i'm gonna be doing um a video about what actually happened to me because it's a pretty interesting story it's not like i don't i don't think it's like a, i mean i guess it is a normal i don't know but anyway i'll be doing a story um uh, like the actual uh event like what happened how it happened everything after how it happened and it should be exciting i'm excited for it. it's gonna be a good story time i feel like i feel like y'all be excited too i don't know but um yeah um still let me know what you guys want me to react to because i'm still gonna be doing that and i'm just gonna be kind of be doing just a a bunch of different stuff because i mean it's cc's room it's my room you know what i'm saying gonna be doing whatever i really want to do because i'm different i like a lot of different things you know what i'm saying like i just like to do a lot of stuff so yeah we're just gonna be doing whatever so i'll see you guys later I